So this is my Black & Decker GH3000 trimmer I bought about three and a half years ago. Um, I think it cost about 70 bucks plus tax. Um, and we just replaced the uh, automatic feed spool because that had been worn through. And when we plugged it back in, it didn't want to work at all. Um, and what I noticed is um, uh, the switch didn't seem to be working. And the way I found that out, I'm going to show you. So when I plug it in, and notice I got power here. Um, I just get this, nothing. I was plugged in. Every so often, if I push it just right or just, right angle, just at the right angle, it might engage. And so I figured this was probably a problem with the switch. So shouldn't be too hard to uh, to fix. Better than buying a new trimmer. Um, so again, make sure that. Uh, you unplug this thing first, okay? Um, there's 16 screws around the perimeter of the outside of this thing. You really should only have to take um, the ones on this end of the trimmer out. Um, and they're um, all the same size, so you don't have to worry about keeping track of what's what. Um, once you get the screws out of this part, uh, if you pry this open, uh, it doesn't want to come all the way open easily, but you can kind of pry this open and you can see the switch there with the little red um, part and then you've got your button back here. All right, and so what you wanna do is remove that piece right there, and I'll show you how this works. So if you kind of pull this apart, you should be able to get your hand in here. This thing is on a little peg, and you should just be able to, while holding it open, kind of pull this thing down off the peg that it's on, just like that. And then this thing should pull out and there we go. All right, so here's the part you're, you're looking for. This is what would normally engage the, uh, the power switch. And the way that you can check that it's this is basically you can squeeze all this back together. And then if you look inside here, you'll see that little red switch. Now just be careful in doing this. If you plug it back in, realize that your power cords are going directly to the switch. So if your finger goes onto one of those power cords, it's possible you could shock yourself. Don't want to do that. So make sure that your finger just touches the little red button there. And you can hear it clicking. If you get the trimmer to run consistently, if, while you're pushing that little red button, then you know your problem is this part right here. And I think what's happened here is there's a little spring under here. This just gotten a little too mushy and when I'm pushing this lever in instead of pushing the power switch with this little thing here It's just mushing in and not pushing the power switch So this is what I've got to address is just getting this to not be so mushy and that should fix the problem All right, so there's probably a bunch of different ways you could address the problem with this piece and having it not spring down here um, you know, if you could get it to spring down a little bit, but not as much as it's doing on mine now, it'd probably work. I'm just going to take the play out of this thing altogether. Uh, so one option is you could probably glue, put some glue in this part and this part over here. As long as it was still smooth and this thing could ride freely inside, it would probably be okay. I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach and actually put a screw uh, through right about here. And then it's going to come all the way through and basically hold that up that part there and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's my new improved piece. I just got the little screw going through there. And it's just holding that piece up so this piece doesn't move anymore. And I just need to put it back in. So open this thing up as wide as you can. You want to make sure that this spring gets back into there's this little box down here. You want to make sure the spring gets into that box and that this thing goes back over the peg that it's supposed to go over. So finally got that on there. So the peg's in place spring is in its little box and its little bottle. Now I just need to put all the screws back in and test it. And you'll notice now that everything's back together. I have that little screw sticking out, but that's a small price to pay for uh, this working. You can actually hear it clicking on that power switch. 
So let's give it a try here. So there you go. That's how you fix your Black & Decker GH3000 trimmer with uh, just a screw.